when people receive the diagnosis of Parkinson's disease, it feels initially as if it's life altering and it really uh, shatters the, the future that people have perceived themselves to have. But what I hope to tell you today is that there is a lot of hope when you're newly diagnosed and that you really shouldn't despair. Most people assume that because it's a chronic disease and because we don't have a cure, that it is something that you have no control over. And that just simply is not true. And I think I can say that with that kind of confidence because my experience in seeing people who have lived a very meaningful life with Parkinson's disease over many years, and I, I think I also can say that with confidence because of the knowledge that we now, now have about what we call neuroplasticity. And neuroplasticity is really the ability to change the function of your brain. And we, we didn't used to believe this could happen, but now we know that there are things that you can do that can change your brain. And we have evidence that the brain can, can change by getting bigger, um, it can grow new pathways, it can make new connections, and we even know that it can turn genes on that heretofore had not been, um, been turned on. We know that exercise clearly changes brain function. We know that some of the things you pursue intellectually can change brain function. We also know that things you do in terms of uh, your emotional state and your connectivity to other people changes the way your brain works and actually improves your brain. And therefore, instead of just believing that this disease is in charge of you, you really have an opportunity to change your brain.